up on request the guys asked me how to make a uh, combiner box and the first thing you need to do is go on eBay and I noticed that the Outbacks were the terminal bus bars that were the cheapest price so, 19 bucks two dollars shipping there they are get your red one and a black one for positive and negative you see they have little plastic standoffs that's really necessary you have to have that okay then I'm gonna show you what else you need to buy I'll come back okay then go to Home Depot or Lowe's they both carry the same stuff and then you got this disconnect box look only six dollars seventy eight cents here's one for an air conditioner let's go in for a quick view see there it is that's what you need you take all that plastic cover off there leave the disconnect part on because then you can disconnect and then wire your um, stuff into it your uh, bus bars then you can combine all your solar wires now when you come out of there you're going to need a really big wire like a oh four gauge two gauge something because if you're putting very many panels together you're going to be able to carry the amperage after you leave there depends on how long it is I'd say if you're combining about six big panels you know about 45 watts you need some six gauge wire coming out of there at least I don't know you can look at the American wire chart to see what amperages it can carry alright I'll show you mine it's not as good as what I could build if I spent a little money okay this is my square D combiner box and it's not a very good one it's the one I made out of almost no money at all and I paid too much for this box like fifteen sixteen dollars something terrible like that but it's not very good because the placement of the bus bar could be better if I redone it look what you want to do is uh you want a red and a black bus bar and you want one on one side and then a black one on the other side and then you'd come up with your wires up here to the black and then I mean you'd come up through the hole and then you'd you'd wire into the black on the negative and then wire into the red on the positive and then uh, you could go through the disconnect if you kept it uh, on one side so you could disconnect if you need to turn off your panels then when you come out come out with some six gauge wire or something I mean you could with this this has only got six panels on I believe that six gauge would carry it maybe or four I don't know whatever you can afford depends on how far you're running it but it would be better see if I'd redo this I could I got another box an Eaton box you put these further apart put one over here and then put one over here further apart but I just used what I had in there you know just bought one of these that way it only cost me about 20 bucks see because I used some stuff they had in here I screwed down this best part of that and then anyway it could be better it's, it's going to end up costing you about 50 bucks to make one maybe I'll buy one already made for 50 bucks I don't know if you already have a box like this and then then you just buy one bus bar and try to rig it up like I did be cheaper that's what I did it's working for me alright thanks for watching